Hi everybody! Um, so I'm back with another video. I thought today we could get caught up in my Hobonichi cousin because I am indeed very behind. I said I would stick to it and I would do it every day, but it's just not happening. So that's what we're going to do today, but first I wanted to show you like the inside of my Hobonichi and like the front pages, the first few pages, you know. Um, so this is what the cover looks like. I haven't taped it off or anything yet because I wasn't sure if I was finished, but. And then this is the inside. She's looking cute this year. The year of the rabbit. Had to add it. And nothing going on here. I was thinking about putting birthdays here, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And then this is like terrible, I don't even know. Also, I don't know what I'm doing with the monthlies yet. I think I'm just gonna like collage it out. And these weeklies I've been using like little stickers to like memory plan. And I think it's pretty cute. But I am behind on that too, as you can see. So, And then some goals for this year. And then it gets into January. But we are here to get caught up. So what I typically do first is I'll find images that either happened on that day or pertain to that day. Or just stuff I like and I want to use. And then I'll go in and I'll pick like dates and stuff so this is what I do cut stuff up Never that neatly. I always go in with my watercolor base first before I glue anything down. So I'll just pick a few colors that I like and get it going. So I'm using Cedric from Julia K. Watercolors. I love this color. I will definitely be getting more when I run out but there's no like particular way I do this I just blobs or whatever I'm feeling typically dots too and now I'm going in with opium from Julia K. And this is like one of my favorite colors ever. Especially these two together. I think they look so good together. And then I'll typically do some like splatters or something of some sort and this is just a a blue because i think the colors look well together okay and then it gets all over your desk typical and now on to the next page i think i'm gonna do this sparkly purple which I always do like a few layers.
to splatter some on this page. And this is opium. Look how pretty this color is. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing all my dates down. I always put my dates first so I can like work around that. And I just always use like random scraps to like layer my dates because I think it just looks a little nice. But. something like that and then the days of the week are next also I'm very curious if you guys are all if you journal are you guys caught up in your journals or are you falling behind like me because I'm struggling now I'm just gonna find some images that I like um, and put them on the page. Also, this is my mom's new kitten. She found him in the woods, and it was so sad, and he is so cute. His name is Jinx, and I love him. So he's going here. And the 17th was a very bad day, so this is very fitting, and it is indeed going to live here. I never really know like what I'm gonna put down so if I like it at the time and it matches then it's just gonna go down so I pulled a few things that I like and I want to use this for this day and I like this for on this page and I think this on this page Maybe something just like that, honestly. And like something like that. So let's go ahead and get this glued down. I think it looks good. Also, sorry, I keep bumping this tripod. It's probably very annoying as it is very annoying for me. So I went ahead and picked out a few washies, an orange, blue polka dots, and red stripes. And I'm just going to go ahead and place them down.
stars basically to every single spread in my journal so I'm just gonna do that <laughs> right off camera and I'll show you the finished spread when I'm done. Okay, I added a few things off camera um, like this. I just wanted to fill up the space a little bit because I didn't have too much to write. This is the spread, completed, all filled out. And yep, that's it. So. If you guys like the video, go ahead, like it, and if you want to follow me on my journaling journey, then you can go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you here. Um, and that's it. Bye!